You don't know if it was before or after the report by RMB and Associates? No, I do not recall. If I had records indicating that DHT Investments purchased the property in January of 2001, uh, would you disagree with that date? If you have documents, uh, <coughs> no. Okay. And what month in 2000 did you go to contract? Sometime in the uh, fourth quarter of 2000. Okay. About the same time that RMB and Associates was engaging in a uh, report on possible sites for the water tower. That is correct. Did anyone from DHT Investments offer up the site uh, to RMB and Associates as a possible site for a water tower? DHT Investments recognized that by putting it on the south property, it would save the city approximately $200,000. When did negotiations begin with uh, David Moore to finance the property? Object form. <coughs> I would have to ask Mr. Hudson that question. I don't know the answer to that. But. Okay. And do you know what DHT investments or how much DHT investments purchased the uh, entire tract for? Object form. Somewhere approximately $17,000 an acre. Okay. Is that about a 7.7 7 acre site? Uh, I, I believe it's 6.875 originally. And what do you mean by originally? Well, subsequently it was subdivided. Oh, okay. <coughs> How much of that 6.875 acres uh, was sold back to the city of Melissa? Objective form. Approximately two and a half acres. How much did the city pay for the two and a half acres? Uh, approximately seventeen thousand four or five hundred per acre. Well, would you agree with me that uh, a portion of the property um, has frontage to Highway Five? Yes. Okay. And it goes straight back to, to the east. <coughs> property it, line. Does. It goes back to the east. Yes. Okay. From Highway Five. Do you, know, do you know how much frontage is on Highway 5? No. Okay, okay. And it's the back portion of the property uh, that, that's not the frontage part of the property that was sold back to the city of Melissa for a water tower. That would possibly be correct. Okay. Uh, would you agree with me that that was probably the least uh, valuable portion of the property as a whole? Mm, totally disagree. Are you saying that the, the property that was sold back to the city of Melissa for the water tower uh, was equal in value to the property that's on the frontage road of the same property? <coughs> yes. Okay. Although it doesn't front Highway 5. <coughs> that is correct. Okay. Well, does the North Texas Municipal Water District pipe into that water tower? Objective. Yes, it does. Okay. And does the pipeline go through any part of the DHT investment property? Objective. Don't know. Okay. Do you know if any easements were purchased uh, by the North Texas Municipal Water District uh, for pipelines that go uh, in or through uh, the DHT investment property today? Objective. Do not know. Okay. Tell me what actions you took, if any. Uh, on the city council with regard to uh, notifying the public that you had a financial interest in the property that was being looked at by the city for a water tower. I recused myself from the debate that the council had regarding the purchase of this property okay. and turned the meeting over to the mayor to pro tem, Kelly Mayberry. Okay. Did you do that each and every time the um, the council discussed purchase of property for the water tower? Object form. To the best of my knowledge, only when it related to DHT. Okay. Well, did, were there any discussions with regard to the selection of a water tower uh, that you didn't recuse <coughs> yourself from? Object form. Do not recall. Let me ask you this way. 
DNB and Associates goes before the uh, Melissa City Council in November of 2000 and talks about uh, four <coughs> possible sites for a water tower. Uh, were you present for that meeting? Object. Uh, Objectable. Don't recall. You don't recall if you were present for the meeting or not? No, I do not. Okay. Uh, did you ever, uh, during the course of discussion, discussing the purchase of the property from DHT Investments, uh, sign an affidavit um, with the city secretary's office regarding a possible conflict of interest? Object I don't know if I signed a document, but I did advise her. Okay. And how did you advise her? Object Verbally. Okay. Were there any executive session meetings uh, with regard to the purchase of property, or actually the DHT investment property? Object Not that I recall. Sometimes the city and the city's authorized to discuss real estate matters in executive session so as not to show their hand on with regard to real estate transactions. Uh, do you recall whether or not you had an executive session about any of the sites with regard to the water tower? Not that I recall. Okay. Did you advocate publicly uh, either uh, in or outside of the city council called meeting uh, for the purchase of the DHT property for the water tower? Not to my knowledge. Okay. You told me a minute ago, I think, that uh, there were a lot of benefits uh, to the city of Melissa uh, if they were to purchase the DHT investment site for the water tower. Did you make those same uh, points uh, known to members of the city council? No, I did not. Okay. Were you present at the meeting that, that Mr. Hudson uh, made the presentation to council? I stated that I recused myself. Okay. My question was, were you present? My statement is I recuse myself. I step down. Okay. When you step down, do you physically leave the room? I don't recall. <coughs> well, many cities have policies with regard to recusing oneself from a vote at city council. Uh, for example, Plano, you sign your affidavit that you, that you uh, have a conflict of interest. You file it with the city secretary and, and the public, and then you must leave the dais or, or leave the room and go downstairs while they discuss the vote. Does the city of Melissa have any other any formal process like that when a council member is to recuse themselves? Object form. Do not recall. Okay. Would the minutes of, of those meetings uh, reflect uh, whether or not you uh, were in the room or outside the room <coughs> when the discussion was had? Object form. Well, do not know. Okay. Well, you look at the minutes and approve them, don't you? Object form. The council does, yes. Okay. I do not. Well, you're part of the council, aren't you? Object I form. Why is that? Don't answer that question. You've been argumentative. Just don't answer. No. Are you, are you, are you part of the city council? Object. Don't answer the question. He's okay. being argumentative with you. No, I'm really not, Richard. Yeah, I, you are. He's, you know he's the mayor. Well, he's not a voting member. I'm not sure if he, 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 he I know that you're not a voting member of the city council. I don't know if that means do I, do I need to say the mayor and city council considered or the city council considered. I'm not being facetious at all because he's not a voting member. Does he consider himself a member of the city council? Don't answer the question. He's being argumentative with you. We're not okay. going. We're not going to sit here and do that game today. He's on the city council. You can assume he's on the city council. And just to be clear, your, your testimony is that you were. You don't know whether or not you were present or not during the presentation by Mr. Hudson with regard to the purchase of the DHT investment property. Object to the form. My statement is: I recused myself from the debate or the vote. David, he's asking you, were you there? And obviously, if you recused yourself, you were there. So tell him, he's asking you, were you there, present? Were you physically in, in the vicinity? I was physically in the city hall. Okay. okay. When you recuse yourself, do you actually step down <coughs> from the city council desk? Object form. To the best of my knowledge, I've only recused myself once. Did you ever take a public position with regard to which piece of property would be best for the construction of a water tower? Object form. Do not recall. 